testing out the tree stand. You can see it's only a few feet off the ground, I guess. We'll call the uh, C no friend on there. The seat's five foot, a little, a little over five foot up. So I had to test it. Have to test it out, right? Make sure it can actually hold me. I'm gonna have a heavy one of my heavy ratchet straps on it as well. Not just trust the chain. Pretty nice little tree stand. Not bad for 50 bucks. Got to build a good ladder. Going to build a nice log ladder to put up against the tree. The ladder will blend in. Get this put up down the other side of zigzag. Aerial view of the dogs and the barbecue. And this is only like, this is great. This is only like five feet off the ground. Well, the tree stands about five feet off the ground, I guess. Camera and head level's a little higher. <laughs> yeah, I figure eight foot ladder is what I gotta build. Testing out the new tree stand is working out good. And I'm like, I'm right here. So yeah, I think eight to ten feet is gonna be more than enough for height for it. Although there's lots of people out there that want them like 15, 20 feet up. I don't see any need for it. That deer over there. Too bad it's a target. <laughs> okay. My Ellie. Hey everybody, Wolfie here on a work type adventure today. Um, I'm not sure if you can see it in the background, there's a ladder there. We're putting up a hanging tree stand. Um, we got about a month and a half, a little less than a month. Yeah, I guess right around a month and a half until bow season for deer starts. And we're down here the other side of zigzag. Uh, back this direction behind me is where the one feed area is. It's about, oh, I'd say 40, 50 yards over. A little bit out of bow range, but that's what this nice big clearing area in here is for. I'm going to have a little bit of brushing out to do between, like in the next couple weeks. But today we're going to get the stand put up. Um, I picked it up off of the FB marketplace. Um, nice, good deal on it. The guy just didn't need it. He doesn't hunt. He's came across it, fixed it up, gave it a nice fresh coat of paint. It looks beautiful. Um, <laughs> irrelevant. It don't need to look beautiful. It needs to hold me up in the tree. <laughs> but today we're going to get it put up. Um, 
built my ladder today. I went and cut a couple of nice fresh maples. And I used uh, two by fours from a couple of the skids that I tore down and made my rungs for the ladder. And I've got one piece which I'm sitting on right now that will be a brace like to stabilize the top so it can't tilt like fall off the tree. But we're going to get this thing put up. It's going to be about, I don't know, 10, 12 feet up. But that's as high as I want to go. And it's pretty much as high as you need to go. You're up above the deer's basic sight level. Um, you're up away from the ground for scent purposes and stuff. And, well, kind of, I figure it does the job. Um, that's about the height that most of my brother's tree stands were at back in the day when we were younger. And he was first teaching me about bow hunting. That was a long time ago. But, um, yeah, we're gonna, I'm on a break, as you can see. It was not an easy task getting that ladder. Fresh cut maple, four, five inches diameter. It's heavy. Especially when it's 12 feet long. <laughs> oh, I guess it, what was it? Ten and a half feet, I think, is what the length of them are. And while two of them, plus the weight of the two by fours, yeah. It was a trick getting it over here. Um, it was easy to get it to zigzag, because I just bungeed it, uh, one end of it to the back rack of the four-wheeler and dragged it. Um, well, I guess that's about it. Let's get to work. And I'm not going to bore you with all the long, boring details, but I'll keep posting and showing you what I'm doing. So it's time to get to work. Well, in a few minutes. Okay, so I've done a good spot for the tr ladder, and it kind of works out. I've got this other little maple here to help brace it the bottom there's the brace i'm going to run it across on this side because the tree stand will be mounted on this side of the tree right approximately right around the top part where of the ladder there a little maybe a little higher up where that knot is there um but the brace will go on this side because as i'm climbing into the tree stand it's going to want to Kind of push my weight against the ladder like the, this direction so i want the brace on this side so it helps keep it from sliding out so that'll go up right near the top and yeah i'm braced in the bottom so we'll get that done and then on to the more adventurous stuff okay ladders good and solid she ain't going nowhere. Oh, so here's the brace. It's got five different screws through it here, holding it to, to the ladder. And it's got three that go into the tree. They're good long three and a half inch screws. So they go a good ways in there. And I ran one through, sorry, through the top of this post here and into the tree on an angle. She's up here good and solid. Next is gonna to be to put the stand up. The trick for getting it up here is a good rope. I'm gonna put it up over that branch, give it a tug, so hopefully it holds. And I'm just gonna use it like a pulley system to raise the stand up and hold it while I get it fastened in place. Got my supervisor down here. Well, it's up. Um, <laughs> took some work to get that rope up over that branch. And luckily it was solid enough to hold. Now, we'll go up here. Oh. Okay, so right now it's just the chain that's holding it. 
I don't trust the chains. I have a good heavy duty ratchet strap in the milk crate. But she's up here pretty good. Once the ratchet strap goes on, it should should hold pretty solid. Dig in good. Now, something I wanted to point out, the reason we're way up here, is um, the platform, as you can see, is right by the top level of my ladder. This is because you're going to be stepping from the ladder onto your stand. You don't want it like way up here, like a couple feet above your ladder, because whatever type of ladder you're using, you want to be able to comfortably and safely step from your top rung. That will not be used as a rung, by the way. Um, well, quick step type thing onto it and then onto the platform. My seat folds up against the tree. The platform will fold up without compromising how it digs in it's hinged at the front a lot of newer ones it's the weight on the platform that actually digs in it'll have the spikes mounted in the back of the platform and they get as, as your weight goes onto the platform it digs into the tree i like that idea better but i can't afford them plain and simple this I only paid 50 bucks for this and got a couple deer calls with it. Brand new ones, still in their packages. And they're pretty decent calls, so it was well worth the 50 bucks. But yeah, time to get the ratchet strap, get that on there. One thing to remember when you're fastening these on, you want it to fasten near the top section like in the top third of that upright shaft to hold the weight from wanting to tilt out away from the tree that's the part most important part that you want solid against the tree this part will be as your weight is on it it will dig back into the tree and push back on it like a pivot point and the back back is a the stand will push into the tree. And that's where the little teeth in the bottom come in handy. Or come into play. This piece right in here, it's got little teeth in it. They're not really little, but like I said, as my weight pushes on the platform, it pushes down on that and pivots up here where you've got it fastened. And as you can see, i got to pull this in tighter to the tree. That's where the ratchet strap comes in handy. Okay, time to get that done. Okay, so here we are back up here. i got the ratchet strap on. Good and solid. As you can see, there's a bit of sag in my chain there. But that's okay. It'll tighten as the weight goes on. And as you can see, the back of the seat also has claws that dig in to the tree. And you see the chain pull tight. Now, as for this end, what you can do, hard to show, maybe I can get the camera to sit on the stand here. There we go. This part here, what you can do is take a block of wood. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. Oh, camera's not being very cooperative, is it? Okay. Yeah, right in here. You could take a block of wood and fasten, screw it into the tree, one on each side of this beam. That ensures that. I will be doing that, by the way. That ensures that this bottom piece can't swing on an angle. And 
Ooh. There we go. Maybe that works. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. That way this bottom section right here can't swing to side to side under any type of weight or pressure. So let's see how well this thing actually went up. Not too bad. A pretty nice view up here. Alex looks so tiny. Okay, so she's solid. Yeah. Not sure if the camera will pick it up or not. There's a little bit of wobble there. That is the pivot bolt. Hey, we're upside down. The pivot bolt right here. It's a little loose. I don't think it's a big enough bolt for... I think it's a good, strong enough bolt for its purpose. It's not a big enough bolt for the holes that are in it. So yeah, I got to get my safety setup done on this thing. That'll be another trip. I have my tie-off rope in the milk crate down there. And got my blue rope here for that I used to raise the tree stand. And one second, I'm going to switch this thing around. There we go. Now you guys can actually see me. Um, yeah, I've got my rope here. Like I said, that I used to lift the tree stand up here. Alex, here's something over in the marshes over there. Um, in that direction. Oh. Yeah. Wow. I took a stick right across the edge of my nose when I was walking over here. Just a fine little branch. Oh. Okay, so there we go. Tree stand is up. It's solid. Um, the ladder is solid. I've got a big knot right behind my back. That's not going to be comfortable. But I guess it'll help keep me from falling asleep up here, won't it? <laughs> now, I've got, straight ahead of me, I've got two pines and another big, big oak like this one. And there's probably... Oh, I'd say 20 yards from this oak to the other oak. Almost all clear all around me for 30 yards, 40 yards in some directions. Clear shooting lanes. It's going to be a good spot. And like I said, uh, just over... Let's see if I can point at the right ones. These birches right there. No, them ones. There we go. Them birches right there. Over past them, or just past them, and up that direction a little bit. Um, right up in here, right in there, is where um, the feed area is. So, and we got. The next generation on camera uh, a couple weeks ago. Um, beautiful little fawn. Still got his speckles or her speckles. I've never really looked to see which one it was. But it was there with mommy and getting some cob mix and minerals. And... Oh, it, Got, got another short clip of his, probably that one's daddy. That nice, one of them nice bucks from last year's videos, last fall. So, but for now, I'm going to quit boring everybody. And I hope this helps people out with some ideas on how to get a, one of these hanging tree stands put up. 
Um, always make sure, something I never mentioned yet. Um, sorry, I got to turn the camera around here again. Okay, something I never mentioned, the ladder. You don't want your ladder right under your tree stand. You don't want it at the very back of the tree. Because then you've got to swing all the way around the tree to get to your into your stand. What you do want is it at the side like this. Back a little bit is good. But you want to be able to see the area you're already going to be watching. There's that oak in the two pines there. That other oak was the other option for my stand. Got a beautiful view there. Now we can do this right. These right over, right there is where the feed area is. It's just up between that set of trees right there and these birches. That whole sort of clear area back in there that's where the feed area is it's about a 20 foot round spot the dam's over there that's the creek out there same one that goes past the camp or just farther down oh we got got a lot done this week so far, so looking forward to sharing the videos on it. But yeah, we're up here. Like I said, got my safety stuff to get put up for my safety harness stuff. So it can't fall down. It's a long ways down there. I'm going to have to measure that out see what kind of distance I really got there but I do believe the ladder is 11 foot approximately so that would put the platform at around 11 foot the seat about a foot higher so around 12 foot I think this is a good height got good view see lots going on Especially once the leaves all start coming off, I'll be able to see way over there into them pines over there. Okay, I hope everyone has a great day. I'm going to hop down out of here and get stuff organized and head back to the cabin. Figure out where his, his mom went. She was going to come with us, but I think she changed her mind and stayed at the cabin. That's okay. Okay, everyone have a great day. We'll talk to you all soon.